Happy Eclipse Monday. We are coming at you live from Chicago here at Atlas Stationers. My name is Brendan. We are joined today by Brian. Brian, how the heck are you doing, brother? I'm good. Were you practicing not looking at the sun there, closing your eyes? Yep, yep. So we got our glasses, which I found out if you wear them without looking at the sun, you can't see absolutely anything. So I took those off. It's going to rock with them in today's video, but we're going to save them for 2 p.m. because that is when we get the maximum eclipse. We do have some advice, some safety precautions. Please do not stare directly into the sun. Some of you out there, we're probably going to burn your corneas, but that's why we are here. We're pen doctors and, and eclipse doctors and eclipse professionals. Hollywood giving safety tips. I like it. New segment. Yep. Love it. How you doing? I'm good. You have a good weekend? Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. Not as fun as you. Looks like moving all your stuff. So yeah, yeah. We're moving out of Chicago, actually. Uh, this well, you're upcoming moving to Hollywood, Sunday. I thought. Yeah, yeah, so, so we're, we're packing it up. We're packing up everything. We're making trips. And uh, I don't think it matters how far of a move you make. It's just never fun. Whether you're switching you know, units in the same complex, whether you move into the burbs, whether you're moving across country, it just sucks irregardless. So that's what I got going on this, this upcoming week. But I'm excited. I like a new chapter. A new chapter is good. So enough about me, though. Enough about me. What's been up with you? You're not moving. No, I am not moving. Lucky I will guy. never move again. So yeah. I am set in my place for uh, for the foreseeable I helped future. this guy move, fill up multiple trucks because he has way too much stuff. I only have a couple car loads of stuff. I like to travel lightly. I consider physical belongings as baggage. So that's why we travel light, guys. We travel light. I don't know. Light. I saw that picture you sent me. And, don't uh, share that. Yeah, OK. It's really right. bad. It well, we'll really keep bad. up the narrative that's that you're pushing. That's my fiance stuff. Yeah, OK. That's my fiance stuff. Got it. This is really Hopefully good. she's not watching it. There are 100 people in the chat. Everyone's people. rolling in saying hello. Ashton says hi. Men says hi. Tanya says, you aren't the boss of me. Um, <laughs> a lot of people yeah, in the chat, it seems. People, Let's go. 123. They're all tuning in for the, the eclipse. This is the eclipse content. banter. Yeah, yeah the eclipse. And in, in, this video is all about how you can move accordingly and efficiently. Um, but for those of you new here, we're fine writing a stationary shop here in downtown Chicago. Why don't you do a quick pan, Crystal? We're, we're in the, the store here right now. Crystal's behind the camera. So if you guys got any comments, questions, concerns, anything you want to share, throw it in the chat and uh, you know we'll address it. So but, are we going to set the mood right, turn off all the lights? Yeah. You know? right. Yeah, I prefer to pull orders in, in the very dark, dangerous yeah. environments, yeah. like with no lights. Okay. Uh, it makes seeing all these inks even easier too, yeah. right? Uh, but yeah, so Brian and I are going to switch off. We're going to go uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we got Brian set up with the, the good one for Dolores. So when he's ready, he's going to kick it off. Um, is there anything that you want to say though before? Announcements, product releases? Yeah, well, a few product releases we actually have on the orders here that we're going to talk about. Some of the new exclusives that we have, new releases. Uh, we are always updating, having updates for our sidewalk sale, mm -hmm. which is uh, about four months from now in August. I mm -hmm. uh, know crazy. we're going to have some some blog posts coming up this week about that. Yep. Uh, and we're also just a little under a month out from the Chicago Pen Show, which is out in uh, Hoffman Estates. <laughs> which is not in, in Chicago. Illinois. Yeah. <laughs> in Hoffman enough, Estates. So, um, but we'll have some more information about all that stuff. Uh, coming up or mm -hmm. as we talk through the Come orders see here. Us. Yeah. Come see us in Hoffman Estates. We'll be there yeah. every day. So, but ready? Get started? Yeah, you're up, brother. Let's All right. get it. So I've got an order for Dolores. I've got two orders, actually. First one is one zero, or sorry, 170655, a number of new wearing gold inks, and a Toya notebook, some glue that uh, we just got on the website, brand new to us, and a couple other Rhodia items. And let's do the notes. Got please pull on TikTok, you are the best. And please pull my order on TikTok. I hear Rodia is not making these covers anymore. Glad you have them. Uh, and do you have any Estabrook nib clips available for yeah. the TikTok pulls? We still have some of those. These Give ones right here. There we go. Well, you know what? I didn't realize that both of those orders were kind of lengthy. You want me to take one of them? No, nah, I got it. You got Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, it. all right. So, uh, but most of it's in the store here. We'll start getting uh, the orders pulled for the inks. So first up, we have the... Waringal, Geppetto, and Pinocchio, which is our two of the newer releases from Waringal, part of their Pinocchio collection, which also has a matching swatch card. I don't know if we've got these out yet, Crystal, on the uh, showing what they actually look like when they're open. But we got two of those. We do have the exclusive Atlas swatch cards which just launched last week. And I know on the other side of this order, we also have the matching ink 
that is gonna go with it. So we've got one bottle there as well. One comment that I'm seeing. I'm missing the birth of my daughter to watch your live. Oh, wow. Well, thank you for the commitment. That is amazing. <laughs> All right. Shade. Where are your? Well, we're turning the, the lights back. off in here, so you don't need them. He yeah. he's so good. He can stare directly at the sun yeah. during the eclipse. Circa 2017. That's yeah. the new. That's the new meta. Yeah. That's when he became who he is today. You've never seen me and Cyclops from X Men in the same room, have you? No, exactly. Boom. So next up, we've got the Robert Oster Romeo and Juliet. Let's see here. I was off to a good start pulling the, the easy ones. <laughs> hey, it's not on the top shelf. Second shelf. Southern, oh, oh, yes, it sure is. Right there, you can see the swatch on there. I'm not sure if it picks it up. And then I'm gonna come around to your side there, Crystal, because we've got an Oasis notebook from Atoya. The A5 size sky, which is this one right here. And let's open that up because we don't show off this. They've got a very special ruling here. It's kind of a mix of grid, dot, ruled, everything all in one. All right, and while we're here, we have a Rhodia pad holder with a leather cover. And let's see, that's the notepad. Where are you? It's gonna be this one. Nope, not that one, the big one. There we go, so it's the A5 size. So Rodeo's not making those leather covers anymore? That I don't know if they're making them anymore. Um, we'll have to like double check. To I know me. that they stopped making the colored ones of the leather covers, but we'll have to take a look and see because they are the pretty nice I piece. Saying, and each one comes with a notebook. I was saying that's new news to me too. Is I, it? Didn't, I didn't hear that. I don't know. Maybe we'll maybe. have to ask uh, King Don here because yeah. he's the one who orders all of our Rodia products. We'll see if he knows anything about it uh, when we get a chance to, to give him a call here. Tanya asks, are you using a new camera? Is this a new phone? Nope. No, but we might have cleaned the lenses. <laughs> I do see quite a bit of buildup on there from time to time. So maybe that's all it was. You know, we'll see. Flaming hot Cheeto finger dust. <laughs> yeah. You know, maybe coffee, sticky fingers. I don't know. Yeah. Or maybe it's, it's just the, yeah, I don't know. Uh, so next up, I'm sorry, moving quick. We've got some new glue here, which we just added to the website, I think a week or two ago, you got these all photographed? Dude, those have been insane. Yeah, we've sold out of all, I mean, we got well, almost all three yeah, styles. Yeah. So we'll get more of those on order. Insane. And then the last things on this, I've got a Twisby Go. We're gonna go in the, the Twisby Go's in the back or in the, Over here. on the side. Yeah, I can get it. And then the, I need the Sapphire Medium, please. And then Rhodia Pencil Cases. They're with us. The living yes. room. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is the newest addition to Atlas. Uh, back for the first, I don't know, 40 years that we were here, this was all greeting cards. So we had quite a bit of success uh, opening up the store, having some play areas that we wanted to add another space. So this year, beginning of the year, we started transforming this space into another area to, to focus on stationary items, uh, different bags and notebooks and stamps and tapes. Uh, and that's what this has become. So we call it the living room uh, area because the rug that we're that I'm standing on right now actually came from uh, our parents, Brennan and my parents' family room. So we used it there as we were growing up and uh, fits the space pretty well. So you get a little bit of, of Atlas uh, family history, Schmidt family history mixed into this space here. So uh, but a lot of cool stuff. We're, we keep finding new products. Uh, for instance, like these Sharpies, adding more markers and things that, to, uh, to the selection here. So all these products, pretty much everything that we carry, you're able to test out in person, see what you like, what you don't like. And I think though, that is all I've got for Dolores. Hey. 
That was a that was little marathon. Yeah, it was pretty quick. That Way faster fast. than you would have done, that's for I sure. I agree. So, uh, but I've got everything there. We did throw in oh, the I opened Esther. It. By the way, I opened one. Oh, so you, so can, you can see, see what, it, what is. it is. Yeah. Yeah. So there is the clip there. And then, do we have any stickers? Let's throw in. These have been popular, right? And yeah. The only way we're giving you can get these now is yeah, we don't sell them. Just by getting on our good side. Stationary store day. Yeah. 2023 exclusives. Yeah. So we have a hopefully a stationary store day 2024 sticker coming out. Yeah. Pretty soon. That's also in August. So yeah. coming up. August is popping. Yeah. So um, that's it. Thank you, Dolores. Something uh, you know cool, but also maybe equally disturbing is I literally crawled around that carpet when I was a baby. So. It's pretty interesting. Uh, it's weird to see it in the shop now, per se. I don't like that you're giving out the ideas because I could see like Hollywood fanboys now just yeah. like laying on the carpet. Oh, and just, like, you know, doing some like snow angels yes, on there. Yes, exactly. Uh, so, that's disturbing. Yeah, so way to go. I think that's a little more disturbing than my <laughs> comment. But yeah, it's just so, it's every time we talk about it, you know, I always, I always like to say that just brings me back. It's super nostalgic because like that is literally what I think of in our old house. Yes. Like it's kind when of I, it's not there. Yeah, this our is like old a, house. I mean, it is still their house. They well, still, still their house. No yeah, longer my, still my place of living. But you know, I still go to the parents' house. You know, I, every time I go, first thing I do is check their fridge and pantry. I mean, who doesn't? You gotta go for the food right away. Am I right? Got a couple comments. Minutes. Yeah. I want to pull it now. I'm missing out. Uh oh. Squash says, "Great." Now I have that image. Yes. Yeah. So this rug is super cool. At we least hope we know you guys what the next story be. Yeah, just the rug. That actually. No, be sweet. I was gonna say you. <laughs> Hollywood is a baby. So. Yeah. Yeah, with shades and a chain. That's, yeah. that's That's the way. That's the way. All right. We got this one for Pam P. Order number one seven zero four eight six. We got a really fun note here. Um, something super funny because I just rewatched Step Brothers. Anytime I see the name Pam, I don't know if you remember the scene of they're in the interview trying to pronounce it. Pan. And they're like Pan. Pan. Oh, with Pam M -M. with the B at the end. Oh, with the D. No, it's just Pam. So a little pop culture for you. Yeah, this is 170486. The note here is super fun. Please pull my order live. Adore watching you all on YouTube. You both are naturals on camera. So smooth. If possible, can Mama T put one of her awesome quotes on my Atlas card? They're so clever, and anyone who can wear shorts through a Chicago winter deserves a deep bow of respect. Y'all are amazing. Thanks for helping us share the love one sentence at a time. Love, Pam. Thank you so much for the kind note. Uh, Mama T and King Atlas are currently out of town actually, but I'll make sure I, I scavenge her, her card selection and I'll find something super cool for you. Um, you know, if, if we don't get something, you know, personal enough, I'll have her write a card for you and maybe we can mail it um, just because she's out all this week. But let's jump into it. We got the Apricot Kaveco. I was fortunate enough to have some help pre-show to have somebody pull this. I just noticed the box is kind of like iridescent too, just like the pen. I didn't notice that. And then I believe Brian already pulled the Atlas exclusive wearing gold products, but this order has some of those as well. These are hot guys, these are hot. We actually have a video of us filling this ink going viral right now on Instagram. So check out our Instagram reels if you are interested. We got the swatch cards and the ink itself. And then Vinta, Vinta has been super hot. No denying that. We're gonna flip around the broski right here. And are these alphabetic, uh, in alphabetical order? Okay. Okay, thank goodness. Because we have a ton of different colors. We are looking for Lock Bay. Boom, let's get it. Yeah, and I know nice. we talked a few times about the Lennon Tool Bar inks that uh, launched last week, the Vinta inks. They're moving very quickly. It's so we're working on a restock on a lot of these. Um, both have been very popular. Uh, so excited to see you know, how they continue to do. So to try to keep up with Brian's awesome gift of the paper clip, we'll do an Andorillium sample bottle, the Pentel Energel, the permanent, and then a sticker of Winchester, Winniekins, Miss Win. Thank you so much, Pam. We'll look for that card after the stream for you, all right? Stay smooth. All right, and then I've got two orders up for Mentee. One of them though, we gotta ask Hollywood what he did with it. Cause one of them is for the Lennon Tool Bar Sesame Seed, the oh, okay. Sesame Oil ink that um, sold out within a couple hours. And I know you chucked one in the back. Yeah. I he, seem to remember you doing that. He said that it was for him, so I threw it out. Yeah, okay. So, so I don't think, we I, might I, have I to- I low-key don't think we have it. Yeah, so we'll have to go see if you can scavenge that up in the trash. But we also have a Banu Hollywood Bling, which we have on sale right now, which we'll head to the back to pull that. And that's gonna be in a medium nib. 
Oh. I found it. Wow. wow. Holy cow. Guess your arm isn't <laughs> as good as you thought. All right. Heading back to the stock room. Hollywood's bling. Millennium, millennium, bling. Bling mediums. I don't see one. So we're going to pull a fine for now until we can grab the uh, the medium. But we can show what the pen itself looks like. Yeah. Watch says, when are, you gonna, when are we going to get the door code? The door code, yeah. Well, so actually, to be honest, we've had to change it a few times uh, because it does seem to leak occasionally. And it's usually not my fault. We'll blame uh, my brother on that one. All right, next up, we have the Diplomat Sepia Black ink which we uh were also on last chance diplomat i think he's at the front hopefully all right and there is that and then let's show this pen really quick we gotta make sure that we get the right nib size before we ship it out he says you gotta buy one of every pen so to get to gain the code. Yes, I that I promise you. If you buy one of every pen or every ink, we will give you VIP access to the code. And there is the Hollywood bling, which we have a few of these left. And this is a exclusive, but one-time launch. So once these are gone, uh, we're not gonna be remaking those. So I don't think I read the uh, the note on his order. Let's see. We do have a card, the thank you card. Aww. You're the best. Oh, and notice, just please pull on TikTok. So, free gift here. Let's do a blind Monteverde ink pull. We got the green ink there. And that should, oh, no, no, no. We have to give you Hollywood hey, there you go. sticker there. And that's it. Thank you. Fabulous. All right, you Brian are up. is on fire. You're not getting well, any on time. fire minus, I, I do have to go back and find the right nib size for the pen. So, oh, okay. So partially on that. fire, yeah. I was going to say, you're not giving me time to, to recon this order here. Nope. We got one for Melissa S, order number 171230, a two-pager. Are we setting a timer yeah. on this? Uh, How long? This order? What's the over-under? How long is it going to take you to pull? I bet you I can do it in under four and a half minutes. I see a sticker on there, which you're going to have trouble with. I see a couple new inks that you're going to have some trouble with. Yeah. If you're going to start the clock, don't do it until after I read the note, though. That doesn't count. That, that's my at least like skills, a two-minute two Yeah, minute my note. reading skills will really cost a lot of time here. Okay. Please feel free to pull my order live. Hope everyone is okay and survived April Fools with minor PTSD. I almost opted for the dropkick shipping, but $99 seems just a little high. Make sure, well, maybe we'll revise that. Maybe we'll drop it to like $98 next year. Uh, I'm placing my order as we had a 4.8 earthquake yesterday and I'm six miles from the epicenter and we had some jolting aftershocks. Every time one happened, the phones blew up. It was like the Wizard of Oz here. My entire house shook so violently and I thought I was falling down. Wow. When I saw the epicenter, I realized why. Thanks and please stay safe. I'm assuming our friend is in New York would be my guess. Definitely Northeast Coast, New Jersey, New York. Yeah, New Jersey. So, you know, hopefully everyone out there in the Northeast region is okay. Also in Japan, I know there was some major earthquakes in Japan as well. So super challenging situations. Taiwan as well? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ben says you can switch off the fine. Um, so we got a comment from Ben. Making it easy on me? He said he couldn't decide. Oh, okay. And then Hugh says hello. Awesome, well, hello. And Tanya says laughs in West Coast. Laughs in West Coast, jeez, Tanya, jeez. Um, yeah, okay, so uh, men, we'll figure it out uh, off stream if we got to swap the nib size, but thank you for letting us know. All right, let's jump into it. We're going to start with the Vinta inks because there's about four or five of them. So we need Cosmos, Bobadil, one. Is that how it's, is that how it's pronounced? I feel like it might not be. Bob, Bob, Bada. 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 Wait, what is it? Bada. Badia, there we go, Badia. Um, I really had to like whip out the Tagalog pronunciations when I started like pulling these. Yeah, I'm, I was gonna say that this will definitely take some time to get the names down. So please yeah, I just pardon say, I'm my ignorance. The Filipino brands that we've been able to add because my wife is Filipino, uh, full, and so I know my uh, my mother-in-law was teaching my oldest son 
uh, how to, yeah, when he was growing up, when he was a little younger. So I'll be excited. They're coming up in, uh, this week so we can share oh some God. of the new stuff so we can, yes, so we can uh, start practicing all of us together, take some lessons. I'm actually on Duolingo now, oh. brushing up on my Spanish. So I actually did 30 minutes, completed multiple, whoa, oh. completed did it have multiple some programs. Reflex testing in there too? That was insane. Yeah. Holy cow. <laughs> Loki scared me. Okay, Muffin, we have the Lennon Toolbar Purple Rice ink right here. And then we got the four inks from Vinta. Okay, and then, is that it? You know what? I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna read these out in English. I did my, my best pronunciation there, but not good enough. This one is Cosmic Blue, Cosmos. 1955. The Bo Boda Badia. Badia is Harlequin. And then this one, uh, Dugong Bugha, is Blue Blood. And then this one right here, Ubi, is Mulberry. Wow, there you go. All right. So is that the Ube? So that is. I love Ube, that's actually. What the, by I think the way. that's what that is. Which is the purple? They've got those purple donuts. Yeah, had ube is good. I've had ube donut lattes, shop and everything, dude. Yeah, it's so fire. Yum. What's up? Yum. Yeah, it's awesome. It's really okay, all right. Let's go over to the Waringo section because yet again another Waringo atlas. Views. We just saw him this morning causing a ruckus throughout the shop. Now he was picking up his, his, uh, his experienced pen sale items that he claimed successfully. He even won one of those mystery box full of random things. So congratulations to him. Also, big note for everyone watching, our next experienced pen sale is set for May 10th. Friday, May 10th, join our Discord. You can then participate and you'll have a chance to claim some unbelievable pens at crazy pr uh, prices. Okay. Crystal, let's head over here. We need the copper storage box and a sticker. We are moving fast. I, I heard the timer's going. Then we got the golden bean. Look at that sweet sticker. That one's sweet. Here's the stackable copper box. Yeah, I love these. And then we have a whole bunch of different colors and sizes. Great for storing inks, well, depending on the size, but inks, fine writing instruments, uh, nibs, stickers, basically anything that fits. Field notes, quarterly edition, the Flora, which is the brand new one. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. And then the Midori letterpress. I think this is the last one. This is the last one of the Flora. So I think we have more on order though. This one was one of the best sellers that we've had of recent times. What's up? Oh, I know. Today feels like a very spring day too. It's like the first spring feeling day we've had in Chicago all year. And then Midori Letterpress. This is the die cut owl. This is a sweet order. Lots of good stuff. And if we flip to the second page, I just realized I didn't look at the quantities of my first order. Oh, we're good. Okay. We're good. Pure luck. Definitely lucky. Pip stickers, all the feels. This one has two units on here. So love that one. Little dinosaur guys. It's pink with dinosaurs. Yeah, wait a minute. No, I think it's it's in a square one. It's not a strip. Yeah, it's square. With pink dinosaurs. Oh, this. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, that's not what I got from this image. Yeah, this is it. With the pip stickers, yeah, pip stickers, I look at the images on the order because that's like the only way. Look, time to reorder. Okay, so that's that. And then lastly, we need the Monteverde Ritma in walnut. Brand new. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know they had a new oh one. My You've been All slacking. Right. You have no idea what's Dude, going on around here. Crystal's been working me so much on the content side, especially on Fridays. We got like five live videos in one day. It's insane. 
No time to look at new products. I'm gonna assume that's what's right here. It is, it is, okay. Well, this is my first time seeing this in person, so I guess we'll do it together, guys. Let's take a look, let's take a look. All right. Hey, I have a question. Plus says, what do you think about the Twisby 580 Diamond? So the question was, what do we think of the Twisby 580 Diamond? Very tough pen to beat at that like $60 price point. Super fun, transparent, a couple different color options on the hardware. I personally love how the barrel is kind of grooved out a little bit and it's not just a straight cylinder. It just adds a little bit more of a spice to it, you know? Uh, this is dope. Yeah, it's a little bit more premium than the $30 Eco, so it's kind of that next level up. Um, this is legit wood though, holy cow. It's beautiful. I think it's the first time they've done another material outside of that anodized aluminum. Yeah, it is, 100% is. Yeah, they've done like, I think maybe like 10 to 15 different yeah, colors. Least, yeah. And then yeah, so we're seeing yes, something completely something different. New. This is the Omniflex version. I think it's priced similarly to the, the standard ones too. So you get the wood, maybe like $10 more. For like 50, 60 bucks, that yeah. seems like a deal. Yeah. All right, Muffin, thank you so much. Melissa Muffin. I think your name's Creative Muffin on the socials, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. All right, oh, good, we got a bin here. And you got your gift. Let's get it, let's get it. Let me throw all these in here nicely. Team Atlas thanks you for all of your support as always. And then for the gift, we'll pick out a sticker. We'll do a pen, we'll do a washi tape, we'll do an Atlas sticker, eyes closed. Looks oh, like you two. got two. The claw grab two. Boom. Melissa, thank you so much. Hopefully you're okay out there in the Northeast. Stay smooth. All right, next up, I've got the order for Donna S, which is order 171324. It is for a Retro 51 heads, uh, yeah, pencil. Uh, no, please pull on TikTok. I love watching you guys during the live poll. Do you have any information about why the lead is so large in these retro pencils? Just wondering, thank you for the show. So I don't know for sure why, how they chose the lead size, do you? Uh, so they have 1.1 millimeter lead, which goes in their, their tornadoes. Um, which I think that's what that's this is. That's what this is. is, yes. And then they used to do like those hex pencils and stuff, which were point, I think seven are, and point nine. Yeah, and those are similar like or point trains. five. Yeah, but I don't know if they do those anymore, but I think the reason is maybe just to like have a larger lead size in their catalog. Like, I don't think there's a specific reason outside of maybe they needed the larger lead to fit the mechanism that goes in the tornado. Um, but yeah, I don't know if there's an actual reason why they did it. Yeah, the good news is we can actually find out because we just got word last week that mm -hmm. they are gonna be visiting uh, and exhibiting at the sidewalk sale for the yeah. first time ever. So we've never had them for an event. They will be mm -hmm. here in August, August 15th and 16th with a table uh, for the 37th annual sidewalk sale. So I have, we have a question in the yep. chat. Do you ship to the Netherlands? Do we ship to the Netherlands? I think so. Yes, I'm 99.9% .9 yeah. sure we do. We ship pretty much everywhere worldwide now. Mm -hmm. uh, there might be a couple exclusions, but pretty much everywhere. Best way to, to test, go to the website, throw something in your cart. If the country shows up uh, during checkout, then you should be good to go. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, so we're gonna head to the front, not the back. That was so smooth how he tied in the yeah. sidewalk sale, by the way. So this guy's smooth with it. Where are uh, the- Under the Lamy case. The under the Lamy case, okay. And after I pull this, we'll walk over and we can take a look at the Retro 51 collection as well. And it should be alphabetical order, I think, potentially. Yep. So I've got it here. So Retro 51, Hello, welcome in. all of their tornadoes come in these sealed tubes. So to actually see what it's gonna look like, we have a case over here of their pens and pencils. I'm sorry. And so the Have one nice that day. we just grabbed is the chromatic, which is gonna be the one, that's the pen version of it. Actually pencil down there. So almost everything that we carry is gonna be in a roller ball. We do have a couple of fountains and pencils available so as nice. well, but what they're known for uh, is outside of just the great finishes, the, the really cool designs are their capless roller balls. Mm -hmm. So it is a retractable pen that writes incredibly smooth, doesn't dry out. But uh, some really cool pens, unique. We don't really pull them on here, so all that much, especially the pencil, so it's kind of cool to see 
something new. But that's all for Donna. Let's go grab the gift. So we've got the thank you card. Hey, you rock. Let's combine or let's do a pen to go with that pencil from Pentel. And we got, you know, I'm going to give out the last washi tape that I see in here. Dang. Last yeah. washi tape from Cora Crea Crafts. And I haven't seen a Winnie sticker today, have you? I have not, no. There you go. And that that'll do it for Donna. Thank you for the order. We went from uh, giving out just one gift on these orders many moons ago to now like you get like three. Well, I'm competing so, with you. So I yeah, was starting I guess out I'm going to get four this next and, time. Yeah, so when you, I, I can't get one up, so. All right, lovely. Thank you, Donna. This next order is for Kim F, order number 170755. Please pack live on TikTok if it can be accommodated. I will watch later on YouTube. Had fun visiting your store around New Year's when I took the sleeper train from New York City to Chicago. Hello to everyone at Atlas. Super fun note. Thanks That's for visiting. That's quite the trip there, yeah. Yeah, nice. We'd love to see it. We got a Paniter and then a Stay Smooth Like Butter sticker. This might, this might be my favorite sticker we've ever made. I mean, that is just bread and butter, you know? No pun intended. All right, we're heading to the back office where the magic happens because we need to grab this Paniter Twin Tank Touchdown, the Devil Red. It's going to be Monday. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a really busy day on Friday, uh, just with some team members out of office, and then um, Don and Therese are are gonna be in South Carolina, so that's why we're doing this one today. But the next one will be the following Monday, so a week from today. Paniter, twin tank, touchdown, red, fourteen karat gold nib. Where are we at? Here we go. Uh, Sarah, says, I been to Chicago in a few months. A visit to Atlas is Sarah, we'd love to have you. You just mentioned that you need to stop by. Chicago, we definitely agree. We'll be waiting for you. All right, let's go open this pen up. So this is the same model that you see on all of our Philip videos. This one's just gonna be red. And it has a gold nib rather than a steel nib. Yeah, this one's sweet. This is the Devil Red. Check it out. Is that a fine nib? Yes, it is. Yeah, I love this. All right. So let's put this back in here. What are the benefits of doing um, like what are your order in for TikTok live? So the question is, what are the benefits of having your order be pulled live on TikTok? A few things. Um, one, I think a lot of people enjoy receiving gifts that we throw in. That doesn't happen with every order. Uh, every order does, however, get a handwritten card, a postcard that we throw in. Uh, but yeah, we we get some you know, some gifts from the vendors that we can kind of feature. Like right now, we've been doing a lot of Monteverde ink bottles, some Pentel pens, so uh, you get some fun gifts there. Uh, in addition to, though, I think what a lot of people enjoy is the direct interaction with us and the opportunity to interact with us while we pull your order. You know, you can see it in live time, you can comment, sometimes for the mystery boxes, people who watch, you know, will give recommendations or the person whose mystery box it is will say, hey, I want this thing, can you make it happen? But basically just the interaction is really the big thing and it allows you to talk to Brian and I directly in live time, so. Yeah, I think that's the biggest part. Um, kind of putting a face behind the business, getting to see, uh, you know, getting to see our team pull things or getting to see us pull things. Mm -hmm. Most places you order online, you know, competition or Amazon or anywhere else, you don't really see what's happening behind the scenes, all the work that goes into it. So it just gives that hopefully a little bit more connection to everything that we're doing here, just a little personal touch that uh, you're able to get from ordering from Atlas. Here, the stickers. I don't know whose sticker this is. I think that's from Bryce. Whoa. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't though. seen that before. And then you're getting a Napa Bergen. Wow, just so happens to match the red. You're getting a red ink. Awesome. All right, bro. Um, I'll do this one real quick. And then Why? we got a mystery yeah. box. How about I pull the, uh, I'll pull one of the items, you pull the second item because I have no clue where that is. Okay. But I do like the note on there. 
Okay, so I've read the first sentence on it. So this one is for Alex L, owner number 170628. Brian and I will tag team this one, two items. With the note that says, pick my order live, please. I'm finally about to outgrow my current pen storage and need to pick up a new case to hold my fountain pen tournament winnings. I saw the Quora box on last chance and figured I would also give that a shot. All of it will be new to me as I've only ever just written in plain notebooks before. Everyone on the Atlas team, Hope the weather isn't bothering you too much. Luckily this week we're getting 60. Perfect so weather, yeah. yeah these looking good. Up to 70 today for the eclipse. So yeah, Alex is actually the reigning champion of our fountain pen tournament challenge. He had the highest overall score throughout the tournament out of 860 something brackets and participants. So big round of applause to Alex. He took home the grand prize, which was a Peniter Arco. It's like a thousand dollar pen. Yeah, and just to recap, what was the uh, the final match? and who did come out so on the, top. Yeah, the final match, the championship matchup was the Pilot Custom 823 facing off against the Sailor Pro Gear. And the 823 beat out the Pro Gear to win its third fountain pen tournament in a row. So the only three-peat winner we've ever had, the only multi-winner we've ever had. So shout out to the 823 for continuing to run the tournament. Yeah, just dominating. Insane, insane. All right, so you got the Esterbrook 20 pen zipper case. I'm gonna get the winter box by Cora Crea Crafts. Okay. We'll reconvene right here. So as you're pulling that, I'm, I've got the blue one, the navy, of this to show off and see exactly what it is but it's a 20 pen pouch. Does have a nice pocket in the front and then a zip pocket in the back. Let's see, and I don't wanna open it. This one is sealed so you can actually see the green, but we do have all these on our website. Comes in three different colors, two or three different sizes. So this is the winter box. So Coralie curates all of these boxes. We typically, uh, bring in, I think there's a couple different tiers of boxes, but we bring in about six to 12 uh, units of each new box. So they are pretty limited, but they go fast. So basically what happens is every month you can look for new designs and new curated boxes. So it looks like we had one left over from January or from February. So this is the winter box. And then it has all of these themed items. So obviously this one was themed winter. So we got some washi tapes. We got some winter in Switzerland stickers. We got some clear stamps, uh, a winter ephemera pack, which includes vellum papers, cards. Uh, this looks like a stencil. So just super fun boxes. Real quickly, here's a couple more that we have. This one was like the carnival. This one is the detective series. We have a starter kit, which you can't really see because everything's binned up. Uh, it's just super fun, you guys. So if you're interested, feel free to check out uh, usually around the second week of each month is when we get the boxes. I actually got the most recent one in the back. I just have to upload it to the website. Um, some of these low key might not be available though on our website. When we're down to like one, we sometimes take them off to leave it in store only, but I'll do an inventory count just cause now we're promoting it. And then if these aren't up on the website, I'll, I'll throw them up. So cool. Alex, thank you so much. Let's get you a gift. Yeah, I got a couple stickers here if you want to show that. that off. Let's do a pencil since he's got a $1,000 pen already on the way. Boom. Alex, much love, brother. Congratulations again. All right. All right. Before we get to the last one, I just got a, a text actually from one of our vendors uh, with an announcement. So we mm -hmm. have been working on a ton of exclusives that are coming out uh, over the next couple months. One of them, our first exclusive with Delta. Uh, mm -hmm. Shipping to the U.S. the middle of April, so we're looking at an end of April, wow. early May launch. Maybe Chicago Pen Show launch. That's the idea. Make sure we have it for the Chicago Pen Show. We should have the uh, some pictures of the the uh, new pen, uh -huh. uh, hopefully in the coming days, so that we can post some teasers uh, and get a, something up on the website under coming soon. The other thing that happened, which you did see, our first exclusive of the year with Edison Pen Co. The Collier Nebula mm -hmm. is shipping today. So we will have those up for sale by the end of this week. It's exciting, guys. It's limited to 50 pieces. Just you can see out. the, yeah, oh yeah, instantly. You'll see the, the pen on our website under coming soon. As soon as we put those up, they're gonna sell out probably within a couple hours. Mm -hmm. We are gonna bring a couple to the pen show. So if you are, if you do miss out and you're coming to Chicago, make sure you stop by Atlas's 
our booth yeah. first. So you get a chance to, to pick up one of those. Keyword couple to like a few, like maybe five. Like yeah, they will sell five at the, the show, most. So. I think we're keeping five at the most. That yeah, so just be show. aware, like if you're planning to see us at the show, you know, you can't expect us to have it the entire weekend. It'll probably go first thing. Yeah. So just as an FYI. So go early. So go, go early. Go early. Yes. Awesome. It'll or, be up Friday morning. Or buy it online. All right, yes. here we go. April M, order number 170070. This is a mystery box of three inks. Yeah, so the note on here, I think this is a subscription based on the, the, note. uh, the note. Okay, sure. So yeah, basically uh, we do offer a subscription service where you can order a mystery box and be subscribed where it refreshes every month. So you'll receive a new mystery box each month. You can choose between three inks or four inks and you can, however, purchase them individually if you want as well, in case you didn't want to do the subscription. But I think a lot of people enjoy doing it because every month they get that package from us with three randomly inks, randomly picked inks. I was going to say randomly curated, but I don't think that makes sense. I wouldn't say like we a, curate them. That's it, I that's, think yeah. it's, yeah. I mean, it they're kind of like curated. We do try to have some, yeah. We put some thought I into it. I would say it. they're not random. They are curated, yeah. but per person. How about that? Yeah, like if we somehow come across us pulling... Yeah, personalized. personalized. Yeah, if, we, so. if we pull like three red inks and we didn't realize it, we'll, we'll make sure we reevaluate and swap it out. You know, just because we want to give you a nice assortment of just randomly inks that we select. Yeah. So here's how we're going to do this. There, there are no limitations. Brian, you're going to pull one ink. I'm going to pull one ink. The chat is going to pull one ink. So start throwing your ink Inside recommendations. Armada. Which one? So that's a good one. All right, so we're not, yeah. don't pull a so Vinta. No, no Vinta. So I'm going to pull a classic mystery box pull because i think we just let's got it back it. in stock let's see it i think we'll see if it if it showed up hopefully it did uh you can follow me you can follow me i'll get the armada so this one's a uh don't want to announce steel it. blue so we'll make sure neither of us pull that oh i know which one brian's bringing over we finally yeah. have classic it back in stock party this time slaps this ink slaps. Holy that, smokes. In 2023, that was by far the most requested mystery box poll from the, the chat. That ink slaps. We have to slaps. figure out what 2024's Ooh. favorite is going to be. Somebody already called it in the chat. Party time. There we go. Uh, Party we time. Blue dragon with glistening. Blue dragon with glistening. Which blue dragon? The blue dragon blue glistening? There's three of them. Why don't you pull a couple and then we'll let the chat pick between the recommendations. I think that's a good bet. The green Iro Shizuku as well. You pulled a Vinta, Brendan? Party time for the win. I agree. Shout out party time. Let's go. Wow, we are low on KWZ, huh? She's Louise. I think I'm going to go with like more abstract color. Green golds. I like that. Brian picked a classic, so we're going we're gonna to dig deep in the bag to pull something a little bit more unique. So let's see. Good news as well. We have a restock from KWZ and Diastro Menace coming in over the next week or two, which is, uh, especially for the KWZ, the Sheen Machine and Sheen Machine 2. Yeah, those are been nuts. Out, uh, for a little bit. So those are also big mystery box pulls. Fuse says, I apparently need party time. Yes, yes. you do. Everyone yes. needs party time. This is you don't have it already. Somebody else says, you guys are going to make me work more. Hey, that means we're doing a good job on these lives, eh? <laughs> All right, let's let the chat determine. We're gonna put the ink recommendations. So what did Ryuku. you pick? I picked this this green gold. Okay. So we have. So probably don't do the green. Well, let's just see what they say because I'll switch it. I'll switch okay. mine. I, I hate when we give the chat the option to vote and then we just override it. <laughs> I thought that's you know Hollywood's that's how executive it works. decision. Yeah, right. we get your hopes up. So and yeah, just like we actually we're not doing any of these. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree. When I said we're what giving you guys, guys a thinking? choice, we really meant we're gonna pick it all. Uh, but we got the, the, the Colorverse Dragon Series. There's obviously three different ones. There's the Glistening Gold, Glistening Silver, Glistening Blue, the Vinta Armada, and the Irishizuku Green. Start throwing it in the chat. Which one do we want? Someone says, okay, Silver, Vinta. Okay, Vinta, Glistening Silver. So we got one vote each. Come on, a couple more people got to comment. Silver, silver two for Silver. Once we get a couple more, blue dragon. blue dragon, so three for silver. I think that's what we're gonna do. The silver. All right, so Vinta Armada and the other dragon inks and the green have been bounced. You guys have selected the glistening silver. Ooh. Oh, Which, what are these? Hmm? 
Wow, the Atlas favorites, you guys. Staff favorites on the Cheshire Cat. Um, yeah, here are the glistening inks, by the way. There's the silver. Ooh, yeah, they're crazy. Beautiful. All right, so this box is super fire, in my opinion. Look at that. That is a really nice box. Brian's getting the gift for April. We've got the Pentel. And let's do another Hollywood. Dang, I'm hot today. I am hot. Hollywood stickers flying out the door. All right. I think that's going to do it. 60 people in the chat. To those of you just watching, we just finished wrapping up our... What we got, eight orders? Uh, yeah, eight, or, eight nine or nine orders. Technically 10, a few were double orders. Yeah. Uh, but if there's any final comments, questions, concerns, compliments, anything you got in the chat, let us know now. Otherwise, we're about to sign off. Um, please keep in mind, Chicago Pen Show dates May 2nd through 5th. Our annual sidewalk sale is August 15th and 16th. And then I'm sure there's going to be quite a few things in between. You know, we're looking at hopefully doing some like summer seminars and things like that. But we really appreciate the love. Drop by in the store when you're in Chicago. There's so much fun stuff here that, you know, we want you to experience and take advantage of. But is there anything, is there anything you want to say while the chat wraps up? Yeah, uh, make sure that uh, when you're enjoying the eclipse, do not stare directly into the sun. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make sure he stays inside during that entire time. I'm not sure if we can trust him. Um, but, uh, you know, keep those orders going, coming in. We love pulling them live on TikTok. Yeah. How do people get to submit their orders for TikTok Live polls? Uh-huh. So the question was, how do people submit their orders to be on TikTok Live? You want to explain? Yeah. So when you place the order, atlasstationers.com, during checkout, there is a place to put notes. Mm -hmm. Just throw a note on the order saying, please pull on TikTok Live. Mm -hmm. uh, if you do a mystery box or if there's anything you want specifically uh, or give us some ideas, just throw it on the note and mm -hmm. uh, we'll make sure we read it live and uh, pull it in the next batch. How are we, are we doing these Mondays now, Fridays? So I think for the next couple of weeks, at least through April and beginning of May, we're probably gonna keep these on Mondays. Just so it's because... actually gonna probably be like that through June because we have a couple weddings coming up, family weddings. Oh yeah, on so, Fridays. Yeah, so I think Mon it must be- Let's just keep yeah, the Mondays Yeah, probably just gonna then. do Mondays yeah. moving forward. Uh, at least for the foreseeable future. We'll keep it we'll easy for those. you guys so we don't get caught bouncing between Fridays and Mondays. I yeah. think Mondays we've been getting some extra viewers as well. You know, yeah. no one wanting to get back to work on Mondays. Yeah. So uh, gives them a little something to do to, to keep them occupied. Yeah. Friday, no one wants to tune in because they're off doing whatever. They're, trying they're not to get, working they're, anyway. They're so. trying to get to the Friday half, yeah, happy hours. Exactly. Yeah, we're like your procrastination. You're yeah. the beginning of the week So when we do them at 10 o'clock, you really don't have to start working until noon. We yeah. give you our blessing. That's how you break it down. Yeah. That's how you break it down. You guys, thank you so much for the love as always. Y'all know the drill. Stay smooth. Peace. <laughs>